Denver 7 News starts right now. We begin with anger and frustration. Heritage College shuts the doors on 10 campuses, leaving students who have spent a fortune trying to get a degree, wondering what happens next. Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez talked to those students today. Lance, they're, they're just in limbo tonight. They really are. They went up to the administration or tried to go up to the administration office today to find out what happens next, but they weren't allowed in. There was a security guard with a canine to make sure those students stayed outside. It's frustrating. These students want answers. They came to class yesterday. Everything was fine. Then learned last night that Heritage College is kaput, out of business. Students like Stephanie Fisher are deeply in debt without a degree. Oh, I did take out loans. It was 22 grand for me to come here. And I was literally with my foot out the door and they took it from me. Chris Mossman says everything was fine on Monday. He was happy he won the school's Halloween costume contest. I received a Starbucks gift card for $15. I went this morning to go get me a Starbucks coffee. And when I got ready to pay for it, zero balance. Students told me this morning they couldn't even enter the building, not even to use the restrooms. A security guard with a canine was brought in to keep the peace. He spoke to the students, telling them he was sorry. The school posted this message on the front door. It says Heritage doesn't have the cash to stay in business. Rochelle Barra is angry. She has graduated, but her certificate is still on the dean's desk. I asked if she can get a job without that certificate. I well, I do have one lined up right now, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep it because I still have to get my license, and that all depends on that paper that's sitting in the dean's office. Now, when you call the main number, the messaging system answers, but you can't leave a message because the mailbox is full. The note on the front door says that a decline in the student population contributed to the closure of the school. It says they didn't close because of any wrongdoing and were not forced to close by any regulatory agency. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7. Mm.